Hey everybody, this is uh, Jim at sp500chart.com. I'm in a hotel room in Gainesville, Florida, and we're going to take a quick look at the what happened last week. Um, I know I said I was going to be out of town this week. I am, uh, and probably for for all of the week, and no promises uh, this particular week because of just how hectic my schedule is going to be moving here and there, and I don't even know which hotels I'm going to be in. I'm sort of doing this uh, circuit around the state, and I'm basically not even doing hotel reservations. I'm just pulling up to hotels and, hey, you got a room? So anyway, before we get started, you know the drill. This is only uh, for educational purposes. I'm not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy who scribbles these lines on charts and uh, please do your own due diligence. So this past week we uh, we looked like we were in pretty good shape. We, we started to move up on the 20th and the 21st, went sideways for about two and a half days. Then this little line that we thought might give us support, that little line broke midday Thursday and then we saw a little bit more weakness on Friday but maybe maybe uh, bottoming here. Um, you've gotten underneath this neckline from the big inverted, that's that's the extended neckline from that, uh, excuse me, that is the neckline from the more recent inverted head and shoulders pattern. This is the extended neckline from way back. So we got underneath this a little bit, but not uh, by a tremendous margin. And the shape to this little thing here looks like we might be forming a little bottom. Now, you know I've struggled trying to find out where our trend lines are. Um, I mentioned this line. The next day it broke. I mentioned this line. Excuse me, what, that, what was that? I mentioned, let me try that again. This line, the next day it broke. And I don't even know what the, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I don't even know why, why that's on the chart there. Let me get rid of that if I can. My laptop is sort of sluggish here, so we'll get rid of that. But one thing I just, I just noticed that if we look at this as a technically significant top and this now looking like a technically significant top, if we take this line, create a parallel line, Come to daddy. Come on, where are you? Create a parallel line. And then if we drag this line to that last low that we saw right here, lo and behold, that's that lines up pretty much with the low we saw last uh, Friday. But I'm not going to say that's a support line because the last two times I've done that, it's been a jinx. So I'm going to keep my mouth shut and just say, who knows? Let's just keep a look at that. Keep on, uh, you know, keep that on the chart and see what happens. Um, <clears throat> I don't think we're in terrible shape here. As a matter of fact, I mean, we've, we've uh, had a nice run in pretty short order from right around just a little bit above 3,000. All the way up to 3280s, and to to have that move without <clears throat> much of a counter move, I think uh, I think that's pretty good. <clears throat> and all that took place within about oh roughly four weeks. So, <clears throat> excuse me, if we look at this now on a five minute chart. If we can get it to come up, there's what looks like could be a bottom forming here. Um, we had what appears now to be sort of a double top, and that had a minimum target that should take us down to about 32.28. We exceeded that, and there you see that first dip, a little bit lower dip, and then one that is not as low so far. 
So if we were to say get <clears throat> above this height right here, right around 3230, and if we were to surpass that, then I would say this is probably a little bottom here. And if this new stab at a channel ends up being uh, halfway right, then, then we could be looking at a trip up to tag this resistance line, which I, 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 I think that's a pretty good resistance line there. And if we were to make it up to that line, we could be over 3,300 um, at some point in time. But for right now, again, this is the extended neckline here to that inverted head and shoulders. We're under that by just a little bit. That doesn't mean the end of the world. Um, I, I think I just don't think it's the end of the world. And remember, this is an upsloping neck neckline, which usually means the the pattern performs pretty well. But it also means that <clears throat> if we are coming back down to to test some some areas in the past here, since it's an upsloping neckline, I think that means the chances of being underneath that neckline by a bit are probably higher than if this neckline had been horizontal. Finally, one other thing I just want to point out, and then we'll, then we'll be done here, because I don't know how long it's going to take to get this video to upload. See, we had that gap up on the 15th, and it looks like that's about where we started to get some support on uh, last Friday, right at that gap level. So, hey, it doesn't look bad. A little disappointed. I, I really wanted us to bounce on Friday instead of being down again. But uh, I just don't think this chart looks that bad. Con considering where we've come from, I think it looks actually pretty good. So with that said, I'll just say thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience with me this week. No guarantees. I'll try to do this, but uh, but I don't know that I will always be able to. So if if I go missing for a day or so, or even for the whole week, you'll know why. And uh, and but I'm, I don't think that's going to happen. I'll just do what I can. I just wanted to let you know, no promises, because this this week is very much up in the air. So hey, thanks for watching, and as always, thanks for your support.